Hello, my name is Monica Bednarek and I work at the Department of Linguistics at the University of Sydney. This screencast belongs to a series called Key Concepts in Corpus Linguistics and the topic for this screencast is what is a corpus? So what is a corpus? A corpus is often defined as a collection of electronically stored semiotic data that has been designed according to specific corpus design criteria to be maximally representative of a particular variety of language or other semiotic system. So let's break this definition down. A collection of electronically stored semiotic data. So a corpus is a collection of data and the form of the data is electronic so that it can be processed by software. The data is semiotic, which means meaning making. This doesn't just mean language, though most corpora are indeed linguistic, but it also means other systems such as gesture, for example. In order to be a corpus, the data collection also needs to have been designed carefully. That is, researchers will have thought carefully about what exactly to include and exclude and in what proportion so that the corpus is representative of language or another semiotic system. Representative means that the corpus represents a valid sample of the language variety or semiotic system. When we find out things about the corpus, we can make conclusions about the language or semiotic system itself. So in other words, the internet would not be considered a true corpus as it wasn't designed according to specific criteria to be representative of a semiotic system. So what isn't a corpus? These criteria mean that a corpus is not equivalent to a database, a collection, or a text anthology or archive. This is because databases or text archives are not necessarily ordered, the selection of material need not be made on linguistic criteria, and there may be no claim that the material is in any sense representative of a language or one of its varieties, as Butler puts it. But we can use material included in such databases to design a corpus using specific inclusion and exclusion criteria. So in sum, a corpus is a collection of computer-readable semiotic data. The material is authentic, in other words, people have produced it on particular social occasions, although there are debates around what we might mean by authentic. And most importantly, a corpus is representative of a semiotic system and has been designed with that purpose in mind. That's it, and here are the references.